everyone. I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel, Favor and Grace. It has been a while since I have posted a video. We've had a lot of things going on. Um, we uh, were super busy back um, at the end of the school year and one of our kids graduated. We went out of town for a few weeks and then the summer just kind of got faster and faster so I, did, I haven't really done a whole lot with you um, for a while so I'm finally back at it and I wanted to share with you some of the projects that I have going on right now so um, what I have kind of been working on for the last few months is my um, online reselling so um, some of you may be familiar some of you uh, may have never tried it, but I have um, been selling things on eBay on and off for probably about 20 years. Um, nothing significant or no high volumes or anything, but um, I, back before I had kids <laughs> even, I um, would have purchased things on eBay, sold things on eBay and whatnot. So. Um, then in the more recent years, I've added Poshmark and Mercari and a few other apps that I'm not using right now, but there are tons of apps out there. So you can do your research and see what uh, might be of interest to you or what's available in your area. If you're interested in um, being able to sell things that people can pick up locally, if you don't want to ship things, that sort of thing but I um, have recently set up my, um, or actually converted my eBay account to an eBay store because I have quite a few listings on there, have quite a few things that I kind of have backlogged that I need to list on there. So I'm just gonna kind of take you through the journey of trying to um, do a little bit more in the resale department. So I, source from thrift shops and um, from just ads that I find on Facebook Marketplace and really anywhere that I can find things. I have been um, purchasing things that I know are going to be good for reselling and um, just posting them to some of those different apps and things. So we'll talk more about that as we get to it. but tonight and it's I say night because it's kind of late I um, do most of my videos in the evenings just because we have super early mornings and I'm usually working or volunteering throughout the day so it's a little bit tougher for me to be able to um, do the videos in the daytime on most days so um, now that everyone is kind of settled in upstairs for the night and have a little bit of peace and quiet um, I can do some um, videos downstairs. So that's what we're doing tonight. Um, if you are new to my channel, thanks for stopping in, welcome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, press that subscribe button below and you won't miss any content that we have going. And um, if you enjoy this video, you like the information that I'm gonna share with you, then please be sure and give us a thumbs up so that I know that you like the content and um, it just helps us out quite a bit. Um, so if you don't know me, I am a mom of three um, grown and almost grown kids. I still call them kids, they're all teenagers, um, 19, 18 and 16 and um, our oldest our, uh, we are a military family my husband is in the military and our oldest is also in the military and I have worked for um, different government organizations and volunteered for a lot of them and so forth so we are just um, um, all over everything military and um, I'll share a little bit of things that we're doing and um, a little bit about our life as we go along but for now back on topic so I have this box you probably have been wondering what is in this box so I have um, sourced some um, liquidation items 
that I'm going to post for sale online. Um, and again, it just depends on what the items are. This is um, a box of health and beauty items. So it could be any variety of things and we'll see. I haven't opened it yet, so we'll see together how it goes. This is the first time that I've purchased a box like this. Um, I've been doing a lot of research and um, watched some other YouTube videos just to kind of get an idea of what other people are getting, how they're sourcing it, um, research different places to get it, and um, things that you have to be careful about. And again, you can do your research on it also. Um, things like damaged items, and if it's returned items, are they going to be opened where you can't resell them, or um, just any variety of things. So you have to be careful who you're purchasing things from, in the condition that you receive them in. So this has had, this particular company that I'm using has had some really good reviews. I'm going to try it out for a little while before I share it with you because I don't wanna give you information until I know myself that it's gonna be worthwhile. Um, but again, I just wanna kind of share my journey with you and um, see how it goes and maybe it's something that you will be interested in doing at some point as well so let's go ahead it's my uh, fa fancy box cutter <laughs> you want to be really careful not to go too far down when you cut it because you don't want to damage any packages that are inside that you might not be able to sell if they're damaged and of course liquidation reselling has been around for ever and ever there are stores in my hometown that purchase liquidated um, liquidation items and um, sell them that's that's something that's been common for a long time a lot of people are doing really well with um, reselling online because so many people are shopping online now so many more than ever before so um, it's a good opportunity if you can find good things so some of the stuff that I have listed online to sell of course are clothing items shoes <clears throat> um, a few different household items decorative things um, gosh I can't even think there's so many different it's kind of a variety of things um, some people choose to pick one particular area so it might be shoes that they focus on or it might just be clothing that they focus on um, some of the folks that I have been kind of following and looking at the information that they've shared and some of the challenges that they've had and things like that do a lot of household type of items, health and beauty type of items. So things like what we're gonna ha see here in this box. Um, and so they primarily focus on that. For me, if I see a good deal at a thrift shop or a yard sale or a flea market or uh, maybe online Facebook marketplace I mentioned earlier, then um, if it's something that I know is gonna sell, um, easily or for good profit, then I'm going to get it and sell it. And um, I may eventually kind of narrow down the things that I am going to um, offer. But for right now, I'm just kind of casting the net wide, figuring out what works. And this is something you may be wondering, you know, why is this something that I have been doing or that I'm interested in doing? So like I said before, I have, um, been a reseller for a while. I've done more yard sales than I can count. I can remember as a little girl, my grandma did huge yard sales with um, stuff from all of her children's families and um, was known for in her hometown for her yard sales. And I would help her with those whenever I was with her. So I always enjoyed that. And then as an adult with three kids and a high volume of turnover and all of the things that that you would imagine with kids it just um, and then also being a military family moving every time we move every few years 
you want to purge as much stuff as you can so that you aren't taking that along with you to the next spot. So yard sales and reselling have always just kind of been a natural thing for me. And because it is interesting to me and it is kind of fun for me to find those good deals and um, exploring some more of the online options um, like I have for the last year or so um, has just been interesting. So here we are. All right, so let's, enough of that, let's go ahead and look in the box. All right, so I see some good things already. Um, have some, is this Carity lip gloss? Um, some of the things I recognize, some things are probably things that I've never heard of before. So we have some um, toothbrush packs, toothpaste, um, some vitamins, we have zinc. So the one thing that you need to be aware of with Health and Beauty um, is you wanna look at the expiration date. So on here, I don't know if you can see it, and I'm kind of far away, I can't see super great right now, but that's um, December 2023, so that's no problem. Soak the day away, a sutra, um, Dead Sea Salt Bath. So that sounds pretty nice if you like salt um, baths. Have some Visine Dry Eye. And some of these things, um, I well, I guess kind of rewind. Um, the items that are in here, I think it was, um, I think there's like a hundred, I can't remember exactly, um, quite a few items, but the value, the price for per item was, lot, was less than two dollars. I don't remember exactly, I probably should have looked that up, but um, before I started, but. Um, give or take, it was definitely less than $2 per item. So, um, we have a couple. The good thing about having two or more of something is that when you list it online, um, it's quicker because you have a two for one. So, you make one listing with two quantity and makes it easier when you process it. Um, Shea Moisture African Water Mint and Ginger Detox Shea Butter Soap. That's a really long name for a bar of soap. It sounds really nice. Then we have a couple of packs of Simple Wipes. Eye make, Makeup Remover Pads. Cleansing Wipes. I think the hardest thing... I'm going to move this pillow. The hardest thing is probably going to be not... Um, keeping stuff myself. Uh, have a scrunchie headband. Oral B um, dental floss. Oh, here's a couple um, bulldog face washes. And they put that in an extra little baggie so in case anything goes wrong, you won't have a mess. Um, secret. Um, Paraben and dye free, invisible solid, and there are a few of those. So the good thing about a lot of this stuff is that I personally um, will not use it because I use a lot of non-toxic um, items from Young Living and The Grove and things like that. But um, so a lot of these things are not things that we normally would purchase um, to use ourselves, but if they will sell online, then I'm good with that. Um, Soulmates Heal Protector. So, oh, it's just like clear, like a silicone or something thing to put on your heels to keep those from getting messed up. More toothpaste. Uh, purifying clay mask from Cetaphil. More toothbrushes. This is a really nice um, Velvet Touch Conair hairbrush. That's a nice hairbrush. Some scrunchies, Listerine tabs, um, Wound Seal. We have several deodorants, Old Spice, Speed Stick, Mitchum. 
more of the same, more of the same. Those are good because, again, that's easier when um, you list it. You just list it one time and have multiple quantity. So it saves time when you're listing things. Um, secret dry spray. We have several, looks like face mask, um, sheet mask, sheet mask, and sheet mask. Yes, um, detoxifying charcoal face wash, face wipes. Whole food multivitamins. And again, looking at the expiration, we're good. Still have another year to go on those. Korean ginseng. Um, expiration, so good on everything. L'Oreal Men Experts beard friendly moisturizing gel again we have some more liquids in a little baggie these are yes jelly mask and tonic um, collagen replenishing powder keto boost um, looks like um, this originally came from CVS there's a CVS sticker on it um, it's not a price tag, but, um, so this one expires in February. So that's something I want to be sure to get logged in somewhere and, um, try to get it sold sooner than later, even though it's only September time goes really quickly. So, all right, then we have some Burt's Bees and Dr. Sheffield's more toothpaste, another keto booster, uh, good day chocolate energy supplements, clinical strength deodorant, um, ashwagandha extract, whole root supplement, not sure what that does. Um, I don't know. If you know, let me know below. Yes, hydrating primer stick. Listerine, more Listerine tabs. Um, scrunchy and matching face mask. If you want to be stylish. More scrunchies. Oh, that's a mommy and me scrunchy. More scrunchies. Lots of scrunchies. Um, vitamin D3 chews, and these are I don't see the I'll have to look for the expiration on those. Oh, wait, there it is, it's kind of like stamped in. Oh, yeah, so those are still good. 2022. Here's another, it's the same Frisca brand. This one is Carb Ease Enzyme and Probiotic. Pedicare Foot Spray. I'm not sure what that does, but interesting. Um, Dark Spot Control Serum. Uh, is that Mele? Mele? I'm not sure. How you pronounce it but I have seen um, some rebates and coupons go through on it more scrunchy scrunchies and another mommy and me thing so some of these things oh first thing that's kind of messed up so I don't know it might be in the box somewhere but if you can see the little middle rhinestone has popped out so the prongs are still there everything else is still there so if I find it down there then I can put it back in it'll probably be fine but if not that'll just be a loss and um, there there's um, I forget what it is it was whenever I purchased the, the lot it said that they allow for something like 5% of items that are damaged or um, expired or for whatever reason aren't usable 
So if this is the only thing that's messed up, then we're doing pretty well. My Bite Hers supplements, band-aids, temple patches, another Listerine pack. Then we have a couple of these um, Coracidin. Oh, actually there's six. Coracidin um, HBP cough and cold. And those are still good for a while. Heel Souffle by Sarah Labs. Maxi pads, tampons, um, hair color, L'Oreal Paris hair color. And um, Closis, Closis, I'm not sure. Is that how you say it? Closis? Um, mouthwash, maybe. Um, mildly flavored for sensitive mouths. Eliminates bad breath. Gentle mint flavor. So I guess that's a, um, some kind of oral rinse. And then, kind of move these to the side. And I, there's a box inside the box, if I can get a hold of it. And, hmm, I have my scissors make me the next trick. So, let me just close this up so I can set that there. Shouldn't have buried the scissors, huh? Oh, there we go. Stuff going everywhere. All right, so let's see what's in here. Maybe something that they were protecting to make sure it didn't leak all over everything. If it did leak, goes there. Oops. Oh, okay, so this is nice. They um, lined the box in plastic. So that if anything leaks, won't mess everything up. Um, organic hemp seed oil, pure shave cream with aloe, Colgate Zero mouthwash, um, cream cream rinse for skin. I think. Shea moisture hair stuff. That feels a little slimy. I don't know if that, oops. Stuff falling everywhere. I don't know if it's um, leaking or maybe just has a little on the outside, but a little travel shampoo, St. Ives cleaner, cleanser, facial cleanser, raw sugar, Foaming hand wash, Crayola hand soap, Shea Moisture bubble bath and body wash, Tom's mouthwash, uh, Zero mouthwash, Kale Detox deep cleaning face wash and another Crayola. This is actually hand lotion, so hand soap, hand lotion. So probably with these and some of the scrunchies and things like that, I would sell as a lot. So both of them together instead of separately. Um, there is something oily that leaked in there. I don't think anything's really messed up, but definitely something a little oily in there. Um, the other thing that um, with some of these, especially if it's heavier as far as mailing, 
those are a better option to sell on Facebook Marketplace or to if you have a local sales page where you can list something and um, say I have these items for sale and then um, either have someone it depends on um, you know where you live and how safe your area is but um, either having people that you know or that you're comfortable with stop at your house and pick things up or meet them in a neutral area so I've done that both ways kind of depends on who it is and um, what I know about them so um, where I live now is on a military base so if they have base access um, would be the only way they can actually come to my house and I would be relatively comfortable doing that myself in that situation in the past when I've sold things especially if it was a larger item furniture or uh, exercise equipment things like that that I've sold uh, you definitely want people to come to your house and pick it up because I've also taken things to meet someone to sell it to them and then they either didn't show up or they said they wanted it and then they were like oh, I changed my mind I I'm not gonna get it after all so it kind of gets annoying so you want to make sure that you establish your rules and your safety guidelines I have heard some um, Police departments in some areas have um, set up exchange zones. So essentially, they have a um, like a, a segment of their parking lot that is under video surveillance and in a well lit area of their parking lot where people can come and make safe exchanges, whether it's um, like a, a children for custody um, handoff or um, if you're selling something to meet the buyer and seller meet there and that sort of thing. So it's just a safety measure. I always try to pick a um, definitely if it's not going to be the middle of the day um, a place that is well lit and um, in plain view of a lot of people. So um, for example one place that I lived at the end of the main road by our neighborhood there was a CVS on the corner and it's a high traffic area and a really busy CVS so I would just park in front of the main entrance of the CVS and meet them there make the exchange and felt totally comfortable doing that but again completely depends on where you live how safe that area is and how comfortable you are meeting someone um, now um, you don't really even have to exchange cash um, because you, there are so many payment apps that you can use Zelle, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. There's so many things out there that you can have them to transfer the money to you. I purchased uh, the last thing. Sorry, I've got something that is itching like crazy on my eye. Um, the last thing that I purchased from Facebook Marketplace was a bed and um, I met them they actually had it in a storage unit where they were moving which is again with military families it's just the way of life here so they had a storage unit that they were using to transition as they were moving so I met them at the storage facility that was um, near a relatively busy area sent the guy the money through Venmo after I got there and checked it out and it was what I wanted and um, that was that so it was pretty easy so you have to figure out what's best for you what is safe and comfortable for you some people are not gonna want someone to come to their home I um, would definitely have strict rules of how you're gonna handle that um, I if it if I ever had something especially like a larger item that I wanted them to come to our house to pick it up and I didn't know them or wasn't sure about it I just always made sure my husband was there so it wasn't just me by myself with you know some creeper showing up at my house or whatever so definitely want to don't want to do that so the great thing about being able to sell online if it's things that you can ship easily and if you don't mind shipping then um, obviously that's a great option and I have I utilize priority mail where it's appropriate 
some things it's way cheaper to just mail them um, i have little poly mailers i ordered them from amazon a couple of different sizes of poly mailers super cheap and they it doesn't matter um you know it could be these are probably not the great you would want to uh, reinforce these a little bit but it could be something like this something like this or something like this and any of them any of these three would fit in the same little poly mailer if you need to you can wrap a little padding around it so it doesn't get smashed that sort of thing but um, stick it in the poly mailer depending on the app that you're using to sell from you most likely can print the shipping labels right from uh, I use my phone more than I use my computer so I just print the label right from my phone to my printer and stick it on the the poly envelope and drop it off at the post office I don't as long as I have a, a digital scale so I can check weights and uh, make sure that I'm you know that I have the actual um, dimensions and weight and everything correct for my shipping label um, but otherwise I just go to the post office and open the bin in the back of the the post office box at the drive through and toss everything in there and I'm on my way so it's not difficult at all as far as the mailing um, and you can print your own labels if you're just selling it and um, printing your own labels you can even print right from most shipping from their websites whether it's the post office UPS FedEx you can print those from home too so you you really don't even have to go in to do shipping unless you prefer it that way so for me it's much easier to just do it from home because I'm comfortable in in doing it and I have done my research and I know how it works so um, if you're new to it then you may want to kind of test it out a little bit get a little bit of help uh, up front but once you're comfortable with it you can just take care of everything at home stick it in the mail um, or schedule UPS or FedEx pickup if it's a larger item um, UPS ground is usually cheaper from this area to ship something that's a larger bulkier or heavier item um, so just have to check what your options are and do what is best is and figure out what the best deal is going to be for you and for your buyer all right so um, basically what I'm going to do one thing that is really simple um, is you can for eBay I'm not sure if can't remember if any of the other apps do it but for eBay you can when you're listing an item when you click on the um, list an item button it will pop up um, a window for you to either type in the name of the item or you can scan the barcode so if you scan the barcode in the same item or a similar item is already listed then you can just copy that um, listing essentially and update it with any specific information. So um, let's say, let's see, this is cucumber. So let's say I scan this and um, cucumber doesn't come up, but watermelon comes up. I don't even know if that's a thing, but <laughs> just as an example, watermelon comes up, you can copy that listing and then just change it to cucumber or um, maybe the size is different you need to change the size of the product um, that sort of thing you set your own price and shipping information each time but it makes it much quicker than going in and creating an original item so it's, hopefully you're going to have something already listed that's the same or similar but not too many things because you don't want um, that many people selling the same item that you have um, and as far as the price is concerned, um, I can do a video uh, to help you out with that sometime soon. But essentially, scan or search for the item and um, 
well, I could go on eBay and list this for $60 because I want someone to pay me $60. Does that mean it's worth $60? No. Is anyone going to buy it for that? No. I'm assuming not. I don't know what this um, brand is or anything, but I'm sure it's not a $60 bath salt. Um, so what you want to do when you get your list of same or similar items go to your filter and click sold and that'll give you the comparable sold items so you can find if you do that for this for example um, it may give you a list of five of these that have been sold in the last few months and it'll tell you what price they sold for so um, let's say it's five five eight seven and six and you think okay well someone paid as much as eight dollars as little as five dollars so i'm going to split the difference and do 650 and so you're going to choose to list it for 650. so um and then it also depends on if you're going to offer free shipping or if the buyer is going to pay for the shipping um, a few things that you have to decide, but once you've done it for a little while, um, taking, gone ahead and um, entered a few listings, it'll get easier and quicker as you go along. But in the beginning, it'll be a little bit cumbersome and you'll probably do a lot of back and forth trying to figure it out. But um, the good news is once you've done it a few times, it'll, you'll kind of get used to it and it'll be okay. All right, so that is everything for my first health and beauty liquidation box. Now I have a lot of work to do to get these things um, listed online for sale and I will let you know how I do. So again, they're essentially each one is less than $2 um, cost to me. Um, and then, so this is organic hemp seed oil, moisturizing oil for skin and hair. So, um, as long as I can make a profit over $2 of this, then I'm good. And I know that this retails, I want to say for, um, I don't know, 10 or $12, depends on where you get it from. The other option, um, that I didn't mention is, um, if you have your Walmart or Target app, you can also scan it if it's something that they carry. That'll give you an idea of what the local retail value is. So if I wanted to, I have several Shea Moisture products. So if I wanted to do a Shea Moisture bundle um, and sell it on Facebook Marketplace, then I could just scan this at Target or Walmart and see what the price is um, in both of those places for each item and then use that for my jumping off point to sell it. Because you don't want to sell it for the same price that Walmart and Target are offering it for because, um, you know, why would someone come and get it from you if they can just get it with the regular shopping trip? So you want to, you want to make it worth their while, but you also want to make it profitable for yourself. So, um, consider all those things as well as if you're selling it through, um, an app or service, they're going to take out a service fee or selling fee or whatever they call it, um, essentially a commission for them, for you using their platform. So you also have to take that in consideration um, when you set your price because you don't want to lose money off of it and you don't want to break even. You want to make it um, high enough that you can make a profit, but also make it worthwhile and um encourage them to purchase from you. All right, so that was a lot of information. Um, I think we have enough for this video. I just did a, a one shot video so that I don't have to deal with a lot of editing so I can get this up pretty quickly. Um, so if you have questions, just um, shoot them below in a comment and I will try to answer you or um, give you information about where you can maybe look for for additional information because I'm not an expert yet. Um, I'm just bringing you along for the ride um, as I test out some of these things for reselling and um, 
we'll kind of learn together if you're starting with me. If you have any good tips, just uh, let me know what those are. I would be glad to get any tips or ideas that you may have. And um, if you know of any great sources to get things that can be resold, then feel free to share that as well for me and for the other viewers that may be trying to um, get started in the resale business. All right. Well, I hope everyone has a blessed day and thanks for stopping by and watching my video. Again, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you click that subscribe button below so that you can stay connected with me. And if you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. I really appreciate you. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up so that we know that you like this information and um, we'll keep bringing you some more content. All right, so I'm not sure what's up next, but I'm sure there'll be something to come pretty soon. I'm not gonna wait several months. Again, I'm gonna get back into the swing of things and start getting some videos out to you um, again. All right, have a great night. See you again soon. Bye.